All right, guys, it is Tuesday. Got rained out. I'm going to the mountain to do a little scouting for the upcoming deer season. Apparently, I hit my brake. Yeah, take this out so it's legal to transport. That's my bear protection. Cannot transport a loaded weapon. Just for the heck of it. Chamber is clear. Gun is not loaded. It is legal to transport. It's going to get wet, but my equipment gets used and abused. I'm not afraid to go out and get my get my AR. A little wet. Doesn't hurt it. I just gotta clean it afterwards. Went through a little bit of fog back there. Pavement ends 500 feet ahead. That's what that sign said. So I'm gonna ex explore little areas I saw on Google Earth, Google Maps. I've never been down where I plan on going, so I wanna check out. I was looking, you can see it's a humongous, like I don't even know how many acres of woods, and there's like six big fields right out in the middle. And there's a road small road it's a road you can't drive on you have to walk it to get to them so I'm gonna take a look at that see if there's a possible area to put up a tree stand and the difference leaves make I'll definitely be moving the tree stand between archery and rifle probably be putting it up top and rifle because you can get a 300 yard shot all the way down to this road from the top easily in the winter I mean you can see really well through here all the leaves are off, you can see. It's just amazing how far you can see. Sliding down the mud. I followed that trail in the winter. I had a couple ideas. I'll check out another one though. Well, I'm here. I had to make a small gear modification. The zipper broke on my first aid kit. Don't want crap falling out. Just ready to grab the rifle. Sling the pack and let's go. Alright guys, I am walking the trail. Still with my magazine out. If you get like 30 yards away from the road, then you can load your weapon. Well the wardens have been back here. There's no motor vehicles that are allowed on this trail, except for of course the game wardens. For as deep as this is sunk, I imagine this was from spring. The ground's pretty solid now. There's a little creek running through. But yeah, the area I'm looking for is probably another mile down the trail. Should be very far to drag a deer. It's partly why I'm interested in it, because if it's far, it's less likely for other people to be there. I don't know, maybe I'll set up a game camera on the trail leading up to it. See if I see a lot of activity pre-season. If I do, I won't set up a stand there. So I want to be by myself. Man, those wardens would have to have pretty decent tires. They're lucky they didn't get stuck. This is sunk down at least a foot deep. That's that's pretty deep. Let's sink almost to the axles. These are some pretty deep ruts. Yeah, you can tell they have good tires. Of course they do with the government. Yeah, it's raining pretty hard, but under the canopy of the trees and my raincoat and hat, I'm barely getting wet. Just the difference between winter and summer. Winter, you can see probably 300 yards general area. At least not necessarily down here, but on the other side of the mountain, easily you can see 300. You can see as far as you can shoot in a lot of cases. Um, to the field, that looks like maybe a stream. Pretty dried up though. The fact that it's raining and it's not flowing probably means it's dry most of the year. Right here's one of the fields. So far I don't see any trees that are big enough for a stand. 
I mean, this is all state game lands. That's a dandy field. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me if people are hunting this. I don't know. What what I'm thinking is set up in the far corner. Are we looking this way? Oh, well, that's off. You're probably seeing the forest down here. You can see up in that way. You can see down in here, up in here. There's some more fields, so this is the closest, which will mean I'm probably not going to go in that one. Well, I found the creek, and it's not too far away from those fields. That's a that's pretty dandy creek right there. At least running through a forest. I didn't know it existed. So I'm going to continue walking down the trail. This wouldn't be a bad area, I wouldn't think, anyway. A nice big tree right there. I don't know. I'm at another field. This one looks narrower and longer. I'm going to continue to follow the road. Just check out. I'm going to check this one out on the way back. I know the road ends eventually. Basically, there's two gaps on the mountain. Lambs and Millers. And miles between them is all state game lands. They just connect. I mean, between the two, there's just miles of forest. Right now, I'm heading in between them. This road goes basically directly across it. Right up there, it's the, the field. And down in here, it doesn't look too bad either. An area back there I want to check out as well. But the farther you get in, I imagine the less people you'll see. Well, there's a marker on this tree. I imagine that means so someone can find their spot. But there's a humongous field. I mean, that thing's huge. I want to check that out on the way back. I'm starting to lean towards down in here. It's a little ravine. I don't know, though. Still need to walk the whole trail. What I'll probably do, maybe, set up a tree stand at the edge of that field. Check the visibility. See if I can see down in here. Wherever I set up, and I'll make sure I can have a multiple fields of fire. Well, we reached the end of the road, which means we've reached the end of the field. At least that's what the maps say. Actually, maybe not. Someone's been traveling this. Small little path. Might be deer. Something's definitely traveling this. Yeah, this definitely isn't a road anymore. It's just a little trail. Well, that's lame. No horseback riding. No biking. Still in the state game lands, though. So that's a good thing. And then that just piss you off. Look at that. Can. Three of them. Yeah, that pissing me off. I mean, we're way back in the forest. You just throw your shit everywhere. Half tempted to pick them up, take them back in my own backpack. I'm back in the truck. It's kind of cold out. Um, so yeah, did a little scouting. Not real excited about the fields. Basically just grass. Not that experienced in scouting, so I could use some advice. Would you put, if, put anything in that field? Would you hunt that field or would you stick to the woods? I don't know. So that's why I'm asking. So yeah, let me know if you would hunt the field or the woods. I mean, it is a nice field, but I don't know if it's going to be over hunted or not. There's only one way to find out though.